Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are going to be opening and doing like first impression slash review of the Pixie PR that I just got. I picked it up from my PO box. I'm super excited to get into it. I have tried two of the products, but the rest of them are going to be kind of like a first impressions for me. So if you're interested in what I got in my PR box, then just make sure you stick around and keep watching. But before we do that, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel, guys. You do not want to miss out. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Alrighty guys, so I got this one a little bit late. It was in my P.O. box and I haven't really um, looked in my P.O. box for a little while, so I'm super excited when I got it. I know it has been like a while that I've recorded, but again, I got a lot of stuff that was going on. I was sick, but I am feeling so much better and I'm really excited to, do, to just dive in and see what we got from Pixie. So this is the Get Glowing Gorgeous. You can enter for a chance to win a Pixie Retreat in California. Um, here's how. Use our Glow Essentials for 30 days. Record your, ugh, record, record your journey and then you share it. Um, I'm not really interested in going to California right now, so we can just skip that. But um, if you notice, again, I'm not wearing any makeup, but I like to do that when I'm doing like skincare, fun, chit chatty stuff. So I did get five awesome products and it is introducing our new glow collection. So right here is all the products and what they do. That is a super huge postcard. And when you open the box and you have these. So you have a exfoliating cleanser, you have an award-winning toner, an exfoliating serum, balancing moisturizer, and the multi-use moisture stick. Okay, so we have the Glow Tonic Cleanser, which is $18. I'm just gonna give you guys the prices real quick, and then we'll go through like you know, reviewing them, seeing how they are, how they smell, and how they work. I have the prices here, so just give me one moment. So then the next is the Glow Tonic Toner, and this is $15. And then you have the Glow Tonic Serum, which is $24. And then the On The Glow Moisture Stick, which is $18. And then the last one is the PH it's supposed to be phenomenal, but it's like pH balance gel, and that is for $24. Okay, so now that we have all of the prices out of the way, this box is really huge for like nothing. There's like nothing in here. I thought maybe there was like stuff in there because it's kind of heavy, but no, it's just, just a huge garbage waste. All right, so let's get into these. Obviously, these products are for making your skin glowy, more rejuvenating, and all of that super fun stuff, which is what I need, because my skin is crazy these days with the pregnancy hormones. I'm up, I'm down, I'm breaking out, I'm dry, I'm all over the freaking place. <laughs> so let's get into the ones I have tried. So the first one I tried was On The Glow with ginseng and glycotic, bleh, with glycolic acid. Um, this is a multi-use moisture stick. So basically what it said for me was to twist the base to propel and repel product, propel or repel product. Okay, so up and down. Swipe gently on skin, pat excess into the skin with fingertips, close the lid after each, each use. So this has vitamin D, ginseng, and glycolic acid. So the only thing with this is, give me one second, I put this back on. It doesn't really have a smell. Um, you do get quite a bit of product for the money that you are, I'm gonna try to get it all out so it doesn't break off though. You do get quite a bit of product. Um, the only problem is I don't feel like it really did any moisture helping. It was kind of sticky and weird to wipe across my face. Um, it kind of like drug, like drug, <laughs> dragged across. So it is a little bit shiny and glowy, but once you rubbed it in, it really just, it felt kind of like tacky and sticky. So I don't know that I would want to feel like that throughout the day, like all of the dirt and grime is like sticking to my face. So this one definitely um, was not a thing that I really cared for too much. Then the next one that I did try was the pH gel, which has aloe vera and chestnut in it. And this one is to hydrate. So that one was to moisture. This one is to hydrate. It says 
Horse chestnut hydrates and smooths, aloe vera soothes, and citric acid balances and brightens. So you're only supposed to use a coin size, which doesn't make any sense because there are several coin sizes. So again, really no smell. It is just this cream. I'm going to go ahead and it's like, um, it's definitely gel based. I really, really, really did like how this one felt. Um, as for hydrating, it hydrates for like a few minutes, but then once it's kind of gone, it's just that it's gone. So this one made my skin a little itchy, which makes me think that I may have some kind of sensitivity to whatever may be in there. And believe it or not, I actually have a sensitivity to aloe like straight up aloe so I'm wondering if that's what it is Isn't that weird because like everyone uses aloe for like everything and I'm like no please <laughs> let's look at the glow tonic cleansing gel so this has this is obviously for glowy skin so it has moist clean moistures so it moisturizes glycolic acid which exfoliates there's a lot of glycolic acid in these products so just be mindful of that um and then aloe vera so massage a coin size amount of gel onto face and rinse with water so and it, they do come sealed i love that pixie sends me all of this skincare because i'm really i'm not a huge fan of their makeup i won't lie to you guys but i love their skincare i have so much of their skincare all right so this one does have almost like a floral scent and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my hand and it's just like a clear gel so it feels really nice um, it doesn't seem to be foaming which is really good because when you have super dry skin you do not want a foaming cleanser because it will dry you out um, I know that Kylie is coming she launched that she has her new skincare line which I'm super excited for and I knew it was gonna be skincare um, but my only fear is that <laughs> the facial wash is foaming which is not really good for dry skin at all so for me I want to get the whole kit but I'm just like if I already know it's not going to work for me, it's kind of hard, but I think I'm going to get the kit just so you guys can kind of see what it comes with, you know, the packaging, is it worth it, and all that good stuff. So comment below and let me know if you want to see a review on that. So this seems kind of watery. Um, it's not irritating my skin quite yet at all. So I will definitely have to be trying that one. It did make my hand like really super smooth and like soft. I will tell you that. So I'll have to wash my hand after this, but as for making it glowy it really did which was kind of crazy all right and we'll move on to the this one intrigued me the most it's the pixie skin treats glow tonic serum with glycolic acid and aloe vera which again aloe vera is gonna make my skin irritated so this has the glycolic acid that exfoliates the aloe vera that soothes and ginseng that energizes so massage two to three drops onto clean, onto cleansed, toned skin before you moisturize. So we haven't toned our skin yet. So I don't want to put it on my face, but it is very thick like a serum. So that's good. It's not super runny. Oh, it does have kind of like a super soapy smell to it. I will, I will tell you that. So let's see how it kind of makes my hands feel. I always use it on my hands first because my hands are super sensitive, like my face is. So I know that like if it makes my hands itchy or break out, then there is a high, high chance that it's going to make my face do the same. <laughs> All right, so it did make it super glowy. Like my hands look phenomenal. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they look like really freaking glowy. So. The only thing I would have to say is it has some kind of fragrance smell, which is weird because it doesn't say that it has any floral like ingredients, but it definitely has some kind of like, it almost reminds me of like hand soap. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Kind of reminds me of hand soap. <laughs> so moving on to the last but not least, the toner. So you get a cute little bottle here, and these are all very, I guess, travel size friendly, except for the cleanser, it's kind of huge, but everything else I feel like you could definitely take on the go. So this one is the Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. Okay, so here's the problem. If you have sensitive skin, you're not going to want to do all of these together because they all have the glycolic acid in it. No, the 
um, gel does not. So these three, you're not gonna wanna do these together because it's going to be extremely strong. Um, if you don't have sensitive skin, then you'll be completely fine. But a lot of it, like chemical exfoliating at one time is not super good for your skin. If I exfoliate it with the cleanser, then I probably don't need to do it with the toner or the serum too, because then you're at that point, you're just putting your skin through a whole lot. It doesn't need to go through. So this is an exfoliating toner, which I feel like if you use this, then that would be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the toner on since I've wiped the serum off. It just has such a soapy smell to it. I feel like my hands are gonna be super freaking smooth. So I definitely, definitely, definitely love the glow that my skin has like my hands are the driest thing other than my face on my body so for it to be like glowing and look so hydrating i really cannot wait to try that on my face like i really just cannot oh my gosh i just think it kind of smells like it's real soapy smelling so it's like that like hotel soap like that strong fragrant smell so it's a little bit too much for me I feel like but I really really like that it is giving me like this glowy I wish you guys could see it like glowy effect so I'm definitely gonna have to try these and then give you guys like an updated like what do I think but I would have to definitely say that my favorite is the uh phenomenal gel the pH balancing it did make my face feel kind of hydrating but just a tad sticky afterwards and then I really am interested in the serum so I'll probably use that more as a nighttime thing so if it does give me some issues I can just go ahead and calm it down with my daytime stuff that I have the on the glow I just really think that this is kind of gimmicky I don't think it really does anything for your skin so I'm not really a fan but I'm really excited to try these other products and I'm super freaking thankful that Pixie sent me this stuff to try I'm really excited to try these out I'll have to let you guys know um go ahead and leave me a comment below on what you think is going to be the best product and what you think is going to be the worst all right guys as always make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one bye